A popular convention is coming back to New Jersey for a second year. A service dog is helping de-stress the employees of this stressful job. A sandwich in South Jersey has people's taste buds in a pickle. And there's a great opportunity to help pets in need. Happy Thursday, folks. I'm Libby Cardone, and I'm stuck at the top of this big wheel. And you're listening to Today in NJ for Thursday, March 5th, 2020. So last year, Edison had a sold-out inaugural Christmas con. And obviously, people freaking loved it. So it's returning like, you know, the same five Christmas songs return every year. And this year, the event is taking place once again in Edison from December 11th to 13th, and tickets go on sale later this spring. So here's the thing. If you know you're terrible at giving gifts, here's the perfect solution. Buy your friend or your girlfriend or whatever a ticket to Christmas Con now, and you'll be thanking me in December. I mean, there's an ugly sweater contest and a concert. You better put this on your Christmas list. I've got another very good boy story for you today. Barney is a four-month-old Labrador retriever who takes his job as a service dog very seriously. Barney visited Huntington County Communication Center in Flemington last week to give its public safety telecommunicators an opportunity to de-stress with some puppy love. Now, these dispatchers have an incredibly stressful job. When you have an emergency, they're the people that pick up the phone to help. They work 12 hours a day sometimes, holidays, weekends, and nights, so they definitely deserve a chance to distress. Thanks for bringing them a little tail wagging, Barney. And, you know, feel free to stop by my office next time you have a slow day or something. And now in some questionable news, the sandwich shop Elsie's in Haddon Township has a unique sandwich on their menu. It's called the Homage to Cats, and it has turkey, corned beef, Swiss cheese, Thousand Island dressing, coleslaw, but instead of bread or a roll, they use two halves of a gigantic pickle. I know for a fact half of you just felt a shiver run up your spine and the other half had your stomach grumble. Our reporter Jeremy Schneider went to Elsie's and had good things to report. Check out his story and a tasty video on NJ.com. Would you try it? I mean, I might skip the pickles as bread, but I'll never say no to some deep fried pickle chips. Wait, oh my God, deep fried pickle bread. Somebody should write that down. So we love to talk about our love for pets, but it's time we put that love to the test. The Gloucester County Animal Shelter is looking for volunteers 18 and older to help handle the over 3,000 domestic animals they take in every year. There's a bunch of different ways you can help out at the shelter. They need people to clean, walk dogs, play with the cats. They also need folks to enroll in the foster program to help take some animals home that need a little extra care. I strongly recommend heading over to the GloucesterCountyNJ.gov website or clicking the link in our show notes for more information about how you can help these animals out. That's all we've got for today in NJ. If you're hungry for more news, you can check us out at NJ.com. Make sure to tune in for tomorrow's episode, check out our show notes for information about the stories we mentioned today, and send in any suggestions you have for stories at podcasts at NJAdvanceMedia.com. I'm Libby Cardone, and I'm going to go see if I could put a patent on that fried pickle bread. Have a great day, New Jersey.